He's the best player on the best team that I've seen in Section 5. I remember going over to Tyler's house at a young age. Um, you know, most guys, most of my friends were playing Nintendo. We'd go to his house, we'd go to the basement, we'd get the heavy balls, and we'd start dribbling and doing drills. I think one thing that, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize is how hard Tyler worked, still does to this day, but really then, um, you know, was the ultimate gym rat. He, he put in more time than anyone at a young age and all the way through his career. He could handle the basketball extremely well and shoot with a great amount of range. And the game itself has sort of caught up to that a little bit. Um, I don't want to get him big headed here, but I think he was a little bit ahead of what we've seen. I think you see a lot of the stuff you see in the NBA now, he was, he was capable of doing when he, was a, when he was a kid in terms of his style of play. You know, really great scorer, unbelievable ball handler. The McQuaid games became must-see games. You know, you fill the Blue Cross Arena for games, which just doesn't happen in high school. And Tyler was the main guy in the show. When I was a sophomore, he was a junior on varsity. He really did a lot for me, just sort of helping me um, figure out the, the um, amount of work it took. And, and his, his drive was an uh, unbelievable example for me as an individual, but it really led the, the entire group. Everyone around him felt they needed to do almost as much as he did. And there was, you know, there was a little bit of a competitiveness there, but like, oh, Tyler's doing it and I'm not doing it, maybe we're falling behind a little bit, but that was the ultimate, in my mind, he was a really great leader by you know, setting the example of what you had to do to be really good. Tyler liked to shoot, you know, he, he, didn't, he never saw a shot he didn't like. You know, I remember a couple games, he'd come over half court, one dribble, pull up, just as a statement, you know, he was almost like uh, a performer out there, you know, he was, he, was, he, he was so skilled and confident that he knew he could get, a, get away with that shot and make that shot. Beyond the wins and the losses, he's the kind of guy that could that could score. And I mean, in, in high school, there aren't that many guys that you just look at and can knock down shots, can get to the rim, you know, make clutch plays for you. Tyler has been, you know, one of the best players in McQuaid basketball history, if not the best. And, you know, I, I just feel very lucky to have played with him and, and been a friend and been a teammate with him for, you know, for as long as, as we have. He really achieved a lot personally and as a group. And I think, you know, that's what you know, creates a Hall of Fame career like we're talking about and one of the better ones you're going to ever see.